makini, makini as the word it is, you know, the meaning of makini, it's intelligence, excellent, bravo, something which is good, something which is, you know, positive. So by the word it is, apart from the work it, it has, it has a good name to the children. Then when it comes to the work, we are working hand in hand with children. Makini is a non-profit organization which works with vulnerable children and youth but currently we are working with children and youth who are living and working on the streets and Makini started since 2009 and it was registered in 2010 and it's working in Tanzanian main, mainland. I didn't know why are they, are they on the street? What do they want on the street? Why do not they, I mean, why they don't stay at home? Why they run away from home? They came to the street. <coughs> Many people are facing children like, ah, oh, you know, we can give you money, so you have to give this information to us. But for me, I was just open, you know, I want to know about you. Why are you on the street? You're not at school at this age. Why did you run home? Why are you begging? What do you want on the street? For the drama group, we have uh, 16 children, but we meet children and we children are going. We meet children, like we have different trainings, different workshops for different times. Maybe we have, uh, we had, for instance, we had a training uh, this year from June. We met 30 children and now we, we have none of them because most of them we reunify them with their families and some of them we transfer them to other, uh, other caregivers like different centers and some of them, you know, Makini is working with Department of Social Welfare. Also Makini is working in collaboration with Community Development Department and it's working in collaboration with other partners who are taking care of a child. So before we do a identification of the home of a child or a family of a child, then we make the linkage. We communicate with people, authorities, people from the authorities at the area where the child is coming from. Then they ident identify the area and also they give us the answer. It's true there is this place and it's true that child is coming from this place. Then we are taking from there, we go to the family, we discuss with the family in collaboration with the Department of Social Welfare, with a social worker. So we talk with the family in collaboration also with the community leaders and I mean identify the problem, the challenge which made a child to leave home, to go to the street, the problem with the family members, then we start working with that problem with the family members until it is resolved, it is solved, then 
we work together with the family and the child. Before the child is settled there, then we make sure that a child will be safe and the family will be safe with the child. They will be both safe. Then we don't leave from there. Then we leave social workers from the set from a certain area to keep on supervising the family, including the community leaders. It's like a circle, you know. Most of the problems are not running because of one, one problem. It's not only one problem like poverty or only abuse. You find they have so many things which made them at the end to decide to run from home. We call it dropping center because these children are not staying there for longer time. They're just going there, for instance, and stay there for maybe three or two or four months while the other interventions are taken. For instance, interventions for taking them back home or to find other solution for these children or taking them to school. We are calling dropping center because we don't want children to stay to make these centers like their homes, their permanent homes, because we believe the safe place for a child is home, is in the community. <laughs> Well, kazi yako mo ndani kunipikia na kunirizisha na kuhakikisha mimi naota kitambi. Sawa. Bomba. Mama yake. Mimi mimi ndani. Sijakuleta huyo nifanyie upumbuzi wako wewe unaweza tunaita sana. Ndani kwangu sitaku puzu puzu unaoita sana. That's hivyo mtatoka wote na nao huko ndani. 5000 children on the streets of Dar es Salaam and that was only the rapid assessment which we did in 25 wards in Dar es Salaam. Sana sana wewe. The assessment was done by Makini organization in collaboration with Dogo Dogo Center, Kiwohede, and with the support of UNICEF and the Watch of Department of Social Welfare. So we work in collaboration, three organizations, department and UNICEF. Mama, 
Mama anakuambia leo tumefundisha dance inaitwa contemporary. Unaingia, yani una sio unafuma macho kwa mama mama umeshamuona pale akili yako haiku pale iko kwenye contemporary tumefundisha step hizo concerning the government you know before you know before people were understanding like yeah there is street children but then what you understand huh? Yeah, we saw them cleaning the, wiping the cars, we saw them begging, then what? Nobody went into deep. Then through this project I told you, the Joint Street Children Project, with this rapid assessment, then we identify even the inner pocket area where we find children. The inner situations and issues facing these children on the streets. Then from that point, we had at least the energy to talk with other partners, to talk with the government. But now we see, we see the government through Department of Social Welfare makes its effort concerning that. And even the organizations, different organizations are keep on talking, keep on making noise concerning that because children are there. Then what? What happens concerning these children? And what kind of people are we building for the future? Today there are children on the street. Tomorrow, who will these be children be? Planning to talk to diplomats spouses group. Mm. Yes, we will have a coffee coffee day, which will be in 4th of December, then I think in my presentation I can put that.
were so happy doing DSG because we did work with the first with them the first year and the second year we worked with them and it was successfully and it brought a big impact. It came up with a good impact and now we have artists here and they are the fruits from the funds we get from DSG. And now they're not only meeting for the art trainings but they're meeting also with the drama awareness on the streets. We keep on doing drama awareness on the streets to support other children not to be on the streets but to find other interventions like going home if it's not necessary to go to necessary uh, caregivers instead of staying on the streets and end up in food. Nobody. Samuel Rajab Useni Abdul Magebo Vasco Dolat Elisha Kikoti Mohamed Moshi Lazaro Samuel Emmanuel Musa Wilson in Siangula Jabarimsi